My name is Eric Crawford, co-owner of Oregon CBD. Seth Crawford, the other co-owner of Oregon CBD. Uh, we are a industrial hemp seed breeding company. We breed seeds for farmers to be successful in growing a multitude of cannabinoids. Perfect candor, the way that this market has expanded and grown over the last five years since it was uh, created, uh, it's shifted every single year. We're very happy to have done everything that we have in a way where we can produce it all right here. Uh, to ensure that when farmers put something into the field, that they're going to get a reproducible result, something that they can count on. Lots of space, lots of work that goes into making that happen. And quite frankly, with the team that we've assembled at this company over the last five years, I wish we could give you a better idea of what the future is going to look like. We know for certain cannabinoids, but there's a bunch that at this point are literally just blips on a chromatogram with no reference standard that nobody even knows what they are no or what they do. This is literally a lifetime of work ahead of us um, and we are exuberant about the idea of uh, continuing that, that progress and working with farmers to make it happen put those products into people's hands. Well, hello. My name is Matthew Otten. I am the lead R&D chemist for Oregon CBD. I have been a chemist for over 26 years, doing a variety of different analytes and different matrices. Uh, now I get to turn my attention to the analysis of cannabinoids and in terpenes by bringing the analysis of cannabinoids in-house and allowed them to get essentially real-time data. Uh, I am able to go out in the field, collect samples, process them, and run them on HPLC or on GC and give them results with you know 12 to 24 hours. And so this allows them to make decisions far more quickly and to troubleshoot any issues that may arise. And so it's been very rewarding work. I work with a lot of scientists who are at the top of their game. And so I'm thrilled to be a part of it. My name is Andrea Garfinkel and I'm a plant pathologist here at Oregon CBD. Uh, as a plant pathologist, I'm interested in plant diseases. So anything that makes your crops sick. Specifically, uh, my expertise is in fungal diseases. There are two main diseases that I'm working on currently, botrytis gray mold and powdery mildew. However, there are a lot more diseases and part of my job is trying to understand what those diseases are and how we can help growers manage those diseases. One of the most important diseases that we saw this last year for growers here in the Pacific Northwest was botrytis. So what we have done this past season is surveyed some fields and we found three different species so far and now our goal is to understand how the biologies of those organisms affect the cannabis crop and start to understand a little bit more about how to integrate that knowledge into our breeding program so we can breed plants that are more resistant to these diseases. I'm Aaron Tripp. I'm uh, the genomic sequencing lab director here at the Oregon CBD. I've been working in the field for a number of years. These guys have picked up the latest sequencing technology that's out there called third generation. Previous technologies would utilize short reads for the sequencing results, and that would limit you somewhat to what areas of the genome you could access. And with the long read sequencing technology, we're getting much longer reads which is giving us access to parts of the genome that were not previously accessible. The SQL2 that we employ here is producing 16 times the amount of data that I would have seen on the SQL1. So we're getting a, a tremendous amount of data output that's at this point exceeding what is out there for contemporary analysis of cannabis and hemp in particular. 
so we're definitely opening up some new doors here. We're going to learn a lot about the genome and this will be employed to help our breeding process as well. 